guys welcome back to my channel today's video I want to talk to you guys about how you can be a teacher in the state of Mississippi using the alternative route certification programs that Mississippi offers there are three different ways really um, of becoming a teacher in the state of Mississippi and I want to talk to you guys about those different ways today and um, just kind of give you guys some insight. I do want to apologize in advance because I have been sick lately so I probably will be stopping to like cough and clear my throat and I'm sure my voice is going to sound a little different and be like cracking and in and out and whatnot so I'm really sorry about that I'm gonna try to do as little editing as possible um, so y'all just bear with me through that um, I also want to say that I will get more into my personal situation um, about how I came to know all of this information so well in either um, future videos or I may put one up before I put this video up about my journey and experience. I haven't really decided yet. Um, but either way, um, I just want you guys to know personally I'll get into my story and how I came to this decision of doing an alternative route program to be a teacher and all of that stuff later. Um, I will say though that I am graduating this summer with my bachelor's in business management and I personally am going to do one of these alternative route certification programs and when we talk about that program I'll be a little more specific about which one I picked and why. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into this video so <clears throat> the first thing that you need to do um, obviously when you decide that you want to be a teacher is to look up how licensing for teachers works in your state some states don't do alternative route licensure options like Mississippi does so it is important to get on the Department of Education for your state and research that information look up that information Mississippi also has recruiters teacher recruiters who work for our Department of Education here so they're great to be able to call and they answer questions and work with you help you pick a program all that kind of stuff that is actually how um, how I was introduced to a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about today is through <coughs> excuse me, is through one of those educational recruiters. So um, definitely take advantage of that if you also live in Mississippi and want to do that. Um, so Mississippi offers three alternative route um, certification options for teachers. You can go get a full Master of Arts in Teaching degree from a four-year um, university who offers an MAT. You can do the Teach Mississippi Institute is what they call it. There's a lot of local colleges local to the state of Mississippi who offer an alternative route um, licensure program or who offer a um, <clears throat> like an MAT that you can halfway finish and get your license and I mean there's a ton of different options at a lot of our local colleges um, or you can do the American Board Certification of Teacher Excellence program it is an online little program I'll get more into exactly what that is later um, so yeah your first um, first thing is to definitely research how your state does licensure but that's how Mississippi does it um, they also offer you know like your regular traditional licenses they do out-of-state licenses and then two other kind of licensing options in Mississippi that I would like to touch on are a district requested license <clears throat> that license is 
four districts who need to feel like an immediate teaching position and they found a candidate that they love but they don't necessarily meet all of the requirements so the district can reach out to the Department of Education and have um, the Department of Education issue like a one-year temporary license for that candidate if they really want to hire them that badly or um, you know if you're in this situation where you're like a plumber or an electrician or um, like a cosmetologist um, you're in business something along those lines and you want to teach like an elective course at one of the high schools you can get a career technical license and that would allow you to teach something like carpentry or cosmetology or um, you know any of that kind of stuff at a high school or local technical college <clears throat> um, but today I'm not focusing on any of those other licenses I'm just focusing on the alternative route licensure programs that are offered in Mississippi so the first one that I want to talk about is probably the most popular one that I have heard of people in my school district doing and co-workers and stuff and that is um, Ole Miss's program, the University of Mississippi's program. It used to work a little different than what it does now. They have since changed the um, Teach Mississippi Institute program. I believe anyways um, because when I was looking up all of this information that I have I mean I have like tons of papers you know like this that I've had for um, about six months now and what's on these papers is completely different than what is on Ole Miss's website now about this program so I do think they have changed it I may or may not be wrong but now it looks like in order to, um, you know, get a certification with Ole Miss or through Ole Miss, you have to do a Master in Arts of Teaching degree. Um, you take <clears throat> the first two courses, they're both eight weeks apiece. You take them like back to back. And after you take those first two courses over 16 weeks, you get your three year provisional license and then you go on and finish your full 36 hour MAT program in order to get your regular five year license only it would be a five year class double A license because you would have the full master's degree instead of just a bachelor's and an alternative certification <coughs> excuse me guys so um I will say that Ole Miss is only offering licensure in 7th through 12th grades. It is a full MAT Master in Arts of Teaching 36 hour program. The estimated cost is $19,641 plus what it's going to cost you to buy books, um, supplies, and pay all the other fees that come up like resource fees, technology fees all that other kind of stuff that comes up when you're in college. Um, I did go over completing the first two courses and they're both eight weeks apiece. You take them back to back one at a time and then you get your three-year provisional license and then you complete the entire program to get your five-year license. There are admissions requirements to all of these programs so I am going to touch on those just a little bit. <coughs> So Ole Miss does um, require a 3.0 undergraduate GPA, a 21 on the ACT, a 990 on the SAT, or pass all three Praxis core tests. So if you don't have a 21 or a 990 on the SAT or the ACT, then you can take the three Praxis Core exams and get passing scores on those and kind of bypass the ACT and SAT requirements. Um, and then you also need to have a passing score on a Praxis Two exam before admission. And then they do offer, do also, I meant also, 
They do also require you to submit a writing sample based off two writing prompts that can be found online on their website. Um, and right now the praxis are not required for admission because Mississippi has suspended praxis exam requirements until December the 31st of 2021 due to the COVID pandemic. Um, so it looks like Ole Miss doesn't require those for admission anymore, but you must take them before Ole Miss will recommend you to get your five-year normal teaching lessons. So um, that is pretty much all of the information that I have um, for Ole Miss. It looks like it has change just a little bit um but <clears throat> that is I guess that's how Ole Miss is gonna do it now it used to be a lot different where you would do like a semester of Teach Mississippi Institute 1 and Teach Mississippi Institute 2 and the total cost used to be like two thousand five hundred forty dollars um but it looks like I'm not sure if they still offer that program. I'm going to have to do some more research on that. And I'll make another video on just that and link it in this one if I need to. Um, but it looks like to me that they may have changed things. So the next um, program, alternative route program that I want to talk about is Bellhaven University's program. Um... <coughs> they do offer a full Master in Arts of Teaching degree. It's a 33-hour program at Bellhaven that you can do. They offer licensure in 4th through 6th grade or 7th through 12th grade. The cost is $1,400 per course or about $15,675 for the total Master in Arts of Teaching 33 hour program. Plus you have to pay your books and your fees and things on top of that. This is all online. Um, so was Old Mrs. program. I don't think I mentioned that, but it was all offered online as well. So Bell Havens is also all online. And at Bellhaven, you complete the first two courses, and then you can get your three-year provisional license. Um, you take classroom management and organization and measurement and evaluation strategies. Those are the first two courses. You can only take one course at a time. They are seven weeks long, um, so it would take you a total of 14 weeks to complete both of those courses. You take them back-to-back, -back, one at a time. But after you complete those first two, then you get your three-year provisional license. Once you get your three-year provisional license, you have to get a job at a, you know, within a Mississippi school district. Once you have a job, you come back to Bellhaven, you submit all that information, and you take two more courses. Um, you take... Dimensions of Learning 1 and Dimensions of Learning 2, those are full um, semester courses, so they're like 14-week courses. One's taken in the fall, one is taken in the spring. Um, dimensions of Learning 1 is only offered in the fall, and Dimensions of Learning 2 is only offered in the spring, but you can take them backwards. So if you finish your program in November, you get hired and, you know, take a position and then you can do two in the spring and then come back and do um, dimensions one in the fall if you needed to kind of do it that way depending on when you finish the first two courses. Um, once you finish all four of those, you know, first four, then you get your normal five-year class A license because you just have that undergraduate degree. At this point, once you have that that license, that normal five-year license, you can either stop going to Bellhaven University 
and just leave it at that regular, you know, class A license. Or you can continue on and get the full Master in Arts of Teaching degree where you've already completed, you know, 12 hours towards that degree. You're already almost halfway done. So, um, that is how Bellhaven is a little bit different than Ole Miss, it looks like. <clears throat> And once you complete the full program at Bellhaven, then you have your full master's so you can get that class double A license showing you have your master's degree. And then you get like your normal pay raise and stuff. Um, now Bellhaven also has admissions requirements. They're pretty much the same. Um, you have to have a composite score of 21 or better on the ACT or the equivalent SAT score. Or you have to pass the Praxis Core exams or have a GPA of 3.0 plus. Um, applicants are required to pass a Praxis 2 <clears throat> prior to being admitted. Um, it says here... A passing... but that's, that's suspended actually because um, the Praxis um, requirements are suspended in Mississippi until December 31st of 2021. So you no longer have to pass that Praxis before being admitted, but you do have to pass it um, before you get your license, um, depending on your situation. There are some situations where if you have so many hours um, in undergraduate coursework that you can qualify for that endorsement in Mississippi without having to take a praxis. Like myself, um, I want to teach English. I don't have like, I think it's like 18 hours of undergraduate um, experience in English, so I'm going to have to take the praxis too for English. But I also want to have an endorsement on my license to teach business and I do have well over the 18 hours required for business um, so I can add that business and business endorsement to my teaching license without having to go back and take the Praxis 2 for business. Um, so if you don't have enough undergraduate hours then um, you do have to take a Praxis 2, but you only have to take that Praxis 2 before you can get your license. So you can be working on the program and working on studying for that Praxis exam at the same time if you need to. <clears throat> so that is pretty much all of, of Bellhaven. Um, the next option that I have is the American Board Certification of Teacher Excellence. <coughs> Sorry guys. Um, so this one is different. It is not offered in every state. Only certain states do it. And the only reason that certain states do this program or offer this program as an alternative route for licensure um, are because it allows them to get teachers to teach in critical subject areas where there is a teacher shortage. Um, so there are only a couple of places that you can get licensed going through this program. They only offer licensure in grades 7 through 12, so, so it's only for secondary education. And they only offer it for biology, chemistry, English, math, and physics because those are the subjects where Mississippi sees the most teacher shortage in. Um, so they do have some entrance requirements like the 21 on the ACT, Praxis Core being passed, um, 3.0 GPA on coursework, all of that stuff. So once you get admitted into this program, you pretty much um, study 
for what is called the ABCTE, the American Board Certification of Teacher Excellent Passport to Teaching Exam. They pretty much give you a ton of materials online to help you study for that exam. And once you have studied for that exam and you pass that exam, then you can apply for a one year um, teaching license. Um, now the American Board, even though Mississippi has suspended practice requirements, the American Board still requires, <clears throat> excuse me, they still require that you pass the necessary practice exams before even being admitted into the program. So that is something that you do have to take into consideration. You have to have those practice exams um, pass before you can be admitted. Um, once you are admitted and you start studying for that exam, I think you have about a year um, to complete that program, but you can do it in two weeks. You know, if it only took you two weeks to study for it and pass that, that little test, then, you know, whatever. It took you two weeks. Um, but it looks like you have to have that test passed, the ABCTE Passport to Teaching Exam passed. And then you have to have a letter from a school district stating commitment to employ before Mississippi's Department of Education will offer you a one-year teaching license. Once you get that one-year teaching license, you have to upgrade it after that year. And how they want you to do that is to complete a one-year teaching internship with a mentoring um, teacher. The teacher who mentors you must be um, National Board Certified Teacher or a Mississippi Department of Education trained mentor certified in the same subject area. or the mentor can complete the American Board Certification for Teacher Excellence approved mentor training. So that's like the first requirement that you have to meet. And then the second requirement that you have to meet is take six hours of initial graduate university courses towards an MAT, a Master in Arts of Teaching degree, or do Mississippi Public Broadcasting e-learning online professional development course. You have to take some kind of course there. And then the third option is the MAPQT three-week summer training. And the MAPQT was the Mississippi Alternative Path to Quality Teachers program that was offered in the summertime. That program has been discontinued, so I'm not really sure why the American Board even still has it listed as an option for something you could do to help you upgrade your one-year license to your normal um, teaching license, your normal five-year license. So I'm not really sure, um, you know, how that goes into play. But some fees that you do need to be made aware of. Um, for this program are normally the program is about a $2,000 um, it costs you about $2,000 to do now they do offer sales and coupons a lot um, like today it is Saturday April the 24th and I got an email this morning from the American Board and they're offering $300 off to um, for like a hiring season or whatever coupon is what it's called so I think instead of like the price right now it's like $1,900 so with that $300 off you could do the whole program for like $1,600 but you also have to um, understand that in order to get your five-year lessons, you have to meet those requirements like the e-learning online professional development courses, 
the six hours of an MAT degree um, and then the mentorship sometimes you have to pay mentorship fees to <clears throat> help get your mentor certified to mentor you and things of that nature so that is something to consider um, if you do the e-learning online professional development courses through MPB those courses are anywhere from like 50 to $150 a piece like you do have to pay to do those professional development courses and then obviously if you take six hours of graduate courses at a university you're looking at spending about $1,400 minimum per course um, so to be honest this would get you in the classroom very very quickly um, initially but you're still gonna have to weigh your options as far as what you're gonna do to upgrade your license um, to something else so <clears throat> those are the alternative route options for teachers in Mississippi or for people who want to be teachers in Mississippi um, me personally I'm gonna do Bell Haven's program um, I'm not 100% sure yet if I'm gonna do the entire uh, 33 hour program or if I'm just gonna take the first four courses and then stop and go get my master's degree somewhere else I know I want a master's degree but I'm not a hundred percent sure if I want to get it through Bellhaven um, that is to be determined and really I chose Bellhaven because of that reason um, it is a little expensive to pay fourteen hundred dollars per course with Bellhaven but you can use graduate student loans to pay for those which is what I personally will be doing um, so I do have like a little bit of financial aid as far as that goes to pay for the courses and buy books because let's be honest I'm broke and being a first year teacher um, with no experience and um, just a bachelor's degree you're not gonna make a ton of money anyways so that is personally how I'm gonna do it I know everybody is different so you just have to evaluate your finances and weigh your options as far as that goes definitely the cheapest and um, most definitely the cheapest and most immediate route that you could take is the American Board Certification for Teacher Excellence but um, in the long run you're still gonna end up paying to do things like you know six hours of graduate courses so you might as well just start out doing a graduate course program to begin with in my opinion um, so yeah that is pretty much all of the information that I have on those programs there are a ton more um, you know like local universities like Alcorn University and Delta State University um, Mississippi State University who offer alternative route program options in Mississippi so if you you know don't really like any of these programs that I've mentioned in this video definitely go to their websites give their admissions people a call take a look and see what those other schools offer and like how they differ from the programs that I've mentioned here um, I am going to research some more on Ole Miss's program because I do wonder if Ole Miss changed how they do their program or not because um, it used to be a lot different um, so I will update this video in the future if necessary if I find anything out about that and I also am going to be linking a lot of the websites where 
Um, you can find a lot of this information that I put in my videos today online on your own. You can go take a look at it, do your own research, um, apply for these programs if you want to, things like that. Um, and last thing I want to mention is if you are considering the American Board Certification for Teacher Excellence, I would highly recommend to go online to their website and join their emailing list so you get emails with all their coupons and promotions so you can take advantage of a coupon or a promotion if you want to do their program at like a discounted rate. Um, and also, um, they do offer a free trial on the American Board certification thing. So definitely sign up for that free trial. It's like a seven day free trial thing. You don't have to give like a credit card or anything um, in order to sign up for it and take a look and see what it's about and how it works and stuff like that. Um, so if you are really interested in that one, definitely take advantage of those two options get their coupons sent to you and go ahead and take a look at their program before you decide to spend that amount of money to enroll in it. So yeah, sorry this video was 30 minutes long but that was a ton of information to cover and talk about and I hope that it helps someone um, who's in a similar situation to mine figure out what they're going to do and how they want to go as far as being a teacher in Mississippi goes. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for my teacher journey and I will see you guys in one of my next videos.